Hi, this is Darren Brokowiak. If you know me, you know that I'm a bit of a political junkie and I'm particularly passionate about US presidential politics. It's a big week in the US for politics with the first in the nation Iowa caucuses, the State of the Union address, and the Senate voting on Donald Trump's impeachment. So I thought I'd tell you a story this week about the 2016 election. It's the second presidential debate. Donald Trump's infamous Access Hollywood tape has just been released. So it was quite a acrimonious affair. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton clearly despise each other, but there's a moment at the end of the debate when they're both asked to name something in each other that they admire or respect. Donald Trump managed to say that he thought that Hillary Clinton's tenacity, the fact that she never gives up and that she's a fighter is something that he admires. And Hillary Clinton remarked that Donald Trump must be a good father because of how well his children have turned out. So they managed to find something within each other that they admired. If you don't know about this moment, I'll add the video to the comments so you can have a look. And it reminds me of an important point. You may not like everyone in life that you deal with, but surely you can find something within everyone that you like. This was advice that I received from a colleague of mine about 10 years ago. This was a guy who was a little bit rough around the edges. He was someone who was probably a bit subpar and lazy at work, but everyone liked him. One time I asked him, how do you get everyone to like you? And he told me it's simple. I just find something within every person that I like and I focus on that. And that made his dealings with other people be much more warm and genuine. So the takeaway from this story is not to be subpar and lazy in life, rather it's to find something that you like or admire in everyone that you deal with and to focus on that. I'd love to hear your perspective on this story. Thank you for listening and I'll speak to you soon.